yeah, um, what I'm thinking of is doing a video on grapes and cuttings and showing people ways in which they can do a little bit of budget gardening. So I thought you would like that. And if you've been following my channel for a while, you may remember these grapevine cuttings that I took. And look at that. Doesn't that look absolutely plantastic? And this is Lakemont Seedless. I've spoken an awful lot about this particular variety of grape before. It's a US variety. I've got an entire playlist on grapes if you want to check that out. But uh, one of the good things about gardening is it just does not have to be expensive. And you can take cuttings like this, and all you've got to do is find someone who is kind and will give you some cuttings that you could take. So that's one there, grapevine cutting, Lake Mont Seedless. And let's see what else we've got. Oh dear. Don't these, I need to water these pansies. Them ones look nice. I've got to sort these sweet peas out. Here you go. Another grapevine cutting that I took. Look at that look. And another one there. I'm keeping them down here in the dark because um, well, not the total dark, obviously, because of photosynthesis. <laughs> but um, they need, um, you don't want to let them get too dry and you know, too hot, really, because they, they need to root. And what else have we got here? Oh, yes. This was either a red current or a black current cutting that I took. Hmm, same again. Budget Gardening by Dan. And if you just think in a few years time, you could be getting nice fruits from here. Oh, here you go. And that one there, look. Looking a bit, oop, looking a bit sorry for itself, but uh, if I can get some water to that, that might have more of a chance. So yeah. Learn how to take your cuttings, peeps. What I'll do is I'll, I'll link some videos down below so you can have a look on some of these, how you can do some of these for yourself. So if you've got someone who's kind enough to give you some cuttings or let you take some cuttings, you can uh, start to propagate your own plants from cuttings in order to help you start your own backyard berry orchard or whatever you want. And things like grapevines, red currants, black currants, white currants, gooseberries, relatively easy to get them to root so you know you want to save yourself a little bit of dough if you want to just carry some plants on for posterity maybe it's a, a loved relative who owns that plant maybe it's a very close friend who owns that plant can be a very good very good skill to learn how to do grapes in my, opi my opinion are a great thing to grow because they grow quick they crop very heavily and they're hardy as well so uh, there you go. Now you know one of the reasons why the Romans liked them so much. Autumn Royal. Now, this is a US variety, and it's recommended if you grow this in the UK that you grow it in a polytunnel or a greenhouse because it likes the extra heat, as you would expect it to if it's from California. But growing very quickly in here, but if you're only going to have one vine outside, this probably would not be the one for you. So let's go outside and we'll have a look at some other vines growing away. So this takes me to a Lakemont seedless vine I got growing out here. Now this vine poor thing has actually had a bit of a hard time. It got broken last year and it's got been broken again this year. Maybe a big bird has sat on it. Actually there's a bit of a, a bird on it here. Maybe that was the bird that sat on it and broke it but uh, maybe it wasn't. Uh, I don't know I didn't ask it but anyway a great variety to grow. It's a US variety and grows very well in the UK. Once again I advise you to check out my great playlist if you want to see more about Lake Mont Seedless. Unfortunately, I can't show you any flowers forming on here, which would later turn into grapes because the vine is a little bit young for that. But uh, check out the playlist and you'll see my old vine, which I always referred to as the monster vine because it used to give me around probably over a hundred bunches of grapes a year and they're incredibly honey sweet. So very much worth going growing. They are great variety. This is Lake Mont Seedless once again, and you can really see this is all growth from this year. And the cutting was taken last year. And what this will do, this will grow here, um, it put its boots down, as I like to call it, with regards to the root establishment. And 
Next year put out a lot of growth and then probably the following year will proceed to fruit. So you can get grapes, you know, within three years all being well and they do appreciate although uh, you can't see it at this time of evening but so they do appreciate a south facing wall or fence due to the fact that the, uh, the extra heat from the wall or the fence acts as a catalyst and grapes of course like warmer summers in order to ripen nicely and get nice and sweet so yeah not looking too bad eh this was one I purchased from where did I get it from Blackmore Nursery I think but, no, no I didn't. Ken Muir, I got that from. Another Essex company. Now, I wanted to buy a grafted one to do a, a growth comparison between a grafted vine and uh, ones from cuttings and just see how they, uh, they turned out. I like to try these things. I just noticed, <coughs> noticed one grapevine coming up here. I don't know if it's come from that or whether it was from a previous cutting that I had in the ground, or maybe, I don't know, but there is one coming up there, so I'm going to, I'm going to leave it there. Strange things you find when you're gardening. Here's an idea for those of you who have got a very minimal of space, and maybe you live in a, a flat with a communal garden, or maybe you live in a townhouse which has just got a very tiny bit of space out the front, but look at this. This grapevine here, once again it's Lake Mont Seedless, got it growing in this pot here. It's up against this south facing wall which really, you know, it's nearly seven o'clock at night and it's still very warm indeed. But obviously you've got to make sure you water it because it's in a pot because it's got to get its water from there. But um, you can grow a grape in a pot like this if you don't have much space. Taken from a cutting, so budget gardening once again, all you need. Is a cutting in a pot and some compost, somewhere to put it, and another cutting there. So growing grapes in pots is a possibility, and within the next two to three years, hopefully this will fruit, and uh, I'll be getting some lovely, beautiful grapes off of this vine in this pot. So there's a few ideas for you there about uh, establishing a backyard vineyard or backyard gooseberries, currants, you get the idea. The world is out there for you with regards to growing. Take care, speak soon, and if you like that video, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. See you next time.